The Orlando Magic NBA team sparking controversy after it was revealed the team had donated $50,000 to the super PAC that supports Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' 2024 presidential bid. What's odd is the amount, the timing, and the bedfellows here, right? After all, the Magic are sponsored by Disney. The logo sits prominently on the team jerseys. Disney and DeSantis have been in an all-out war after the company issued a statement opposing his Education Act last year, which critics call the Don't Say Gay Bill. And now there's Florida's new policy where public school teachers are required as part of a much larger curriculum overhaul to teach middle school students that, quote, slaves developed skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. New Orleans Pelican star forward Larry Nance Jr. tweeting, so the Orlando Magic, who have a majority black roster, a black head coach, and a black GM, decided it was a good idea to support a man that claims that slavery had personal benefits for the enslaved. Now, the team now appears to be caving a bit. First, they said they don't publicly comment on political contributions, only to issue another statement hours later saying to clarify this gift was given before Governor DeSantis entered the presidential race. It was given as a Florida business in support of a Florida governor for the continued prosperity of Central Florida. They claim they sent the check on May 19th, a few days before DeSantis officially <laughs> announced his presidency. But according to the FEC, the donation was received on June 26th. Mm. But more importantly, how could they have not seen the controversy coming? And I don't know, maybe they don't care about the controversy. Back with us is Elizabeth Vargas, the host of Elizabeth Vargas Reports. Scotty Nell Hughes, former Trump campaign surrogate, and Chris Hahn, former aide to Senator Chuck Schumer. Chris, what do you make of this? They can't win, right? Uh, you know, when you're a big corporation like that, you can't make these kinds of contra contributions and expect to win, especially in this situation, in this environment. They should stick to local politics and the people that actually vote on whether or not they could have a new stadium and new roads around their arena, and that's it. Well, the governor, the, the governor is an important player, right? In in those sorts of decisions. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about, you know, yeah, I a mean, good investment. They, they should have waited till after the, you know, New Hampshire primary when he drops out of the presidential race, and then they could have given him whatever they wanted and nobody would have cared. Yeah, it's also important to note that the Orlando Magic are owned by the DeVos family, which are a, prom a prominent Republican family, prominent Republican donors. Betsy DeVos served in um, former President Donald Trump's cabinet. So when, when people first, when the story was first reported, it was like, oh, this makes no sense. Black GM, black head coach. Coach, majority black team, why would they do this? It, it's not the, those people are the ones making political donations. Right. It's the DeVos family, which owns the Orlando Magic. And of course, they knew this was coming, but they figured that the controversy would only last a few election cycles compared to Governor Ron DeSantis. Win or lose, he's still going to be governor until 2027. Right. They are going to need the state help to expand to get those roads in. I don't know. But let me also do the yeah. reverse on this one, Dan. If Ron DeSanctimonious was so <laughs> righteous, oh. mm, yeah. why would he not give the money back? Say, listen, as long as you're a sponsor of Disney, I don't want you to be a sponsor of me. Mm. If he really wanted to stand by the principles that he's caused to almost people to lose jobs, Disney have to reevaluate their entire financial situation in Florida right now, give the money back. Put actually your word and the money where your mouth speaks. And, and we're this not is, hearing him even take that offer yet. This is Stephen A. Smith uh, talking about the Orlando Magic backtracking in their statement. Everybody and their mother knew he was running for president. So why are you using that as an excuse? Evidently, you felt uncomfortable with the world knowing that you made that donation because you got a black GM and you got a black coach and you got black players. And evidently, you felt a bit uncomfortable. Now you're going to do what you're going to do. And you got a right to donate to whomever you want. And everybody in our society is not liberal, progressives, and leftists. There's a whole bunch of conservatives. There's a whole bunch of GOP folks. There's a whole bunch of Republicans, okay? We get all that. But stand on who you are and just be done with it. You know, Chris, organizations like the NAACP moving conferences out of Florida as a result of this, et cetera, I guess I'm even surprised there hasn't been more backlash from some of the same people who, you know, believe that what Ron DeSantis has done here uh, is awful, um, pushing back against the magic. I, I guess the question is, how do you push back hard against a basketball team? 
I don't know how you push back hard against a basketball team. And of course, you know, uh, you know, Elizabeth makes another great point. It's owned by the DeVos family. Why aren't you saying the DeVos family should sell the Orlando Magic, right? I, I don't I don't understand the controversy. I think what Stephen A. Smith said, though, was exactly right. Just stand by what you did right. and just be done with it, and then it'll move on. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.